Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're looking at a Cadillac SRX 2011. Now, this unit works for both 2011 and 2012. This car does not have a backup camera, so we won't be showing that, but you can see it in action. So we have the unit installed right here. Let's turn on the vehicle. This is a push to start. Now, the initial boot up does take uh, around like 30 seconds at most to come up. This is a uh, Android 4.4. Uh, we might be coming out with the Android 7.1 fast boot, but just stay in touch for that. So currently, we only have 4.4. So let's wait for it to boot up. And in the boot up phase, if you do have a factory backup camera, you can go in reverse and it will show the reverse screen. But uh, again, we don't have a backup camera. That's why it shows no signal. So it finally did boot up. The radio is on and you can see that the steering wheel controls do work. If I go up and down, volume controls go go up. And if I press next track, it'll go to the next station that I like saved. So if we kill the volume right here, we can look at the unit itself. Uh, in terms of brightness, this is the brightest it will go. Let's go to settings. Uh, where is it? Dimmer, daytime. So this is the brightest it'll go. And you can still do phone link if you want Apple CarPlay. You don't really necessarily need it. You could still do your uh, screen mirroring with iPhone and Android. And again, you can also do Bluetooth Connect with iPhone and Android. Uh, if you want internet, you just go to more settings and go to the Wi-Fi settings. Right now it's connected to my phone hotspot. Uh, it can connect to any internet source. As for the AC controls, it is touch control. It is also um, physical controls. You can see that as well as the temperature control here and you can change the where it blows, either the chest, the feet, or the defroster. We can press the off. And if you look at the unit itself, we have physical buttons on the bottom here. This is from the factory. You can lock the door, unlock the door, turn on or off the child safety, as well as the hazard buttons. And again, you have AC controls for fan speed up and down. And you also have the auto button there. Let's turn off the air conditioning and show you the factory unit. So you can see this is the factory unit. Uh, the hardest part is just taking apart the factory unit and we did take the original OEM buttons here and ported them down to here so you will have to use your factory unit you can't sell your factory unit um, aside from that everything is pretty straightforward steering wheel controls work backup camera works it has its own GPS antenna that we do have it connected to the back and it's somewhere in the unit uh, inside the car but we do recommend it routing it to the um, rear view mirror over here but if i go to gps monitor we are getting a lot of satellites and this should be getting green bars soon uh, if it does get green bars that means your satellite is working as long as you have three satellites it should take some time to calculate to get green bars uh, the navigation app you can use any app on the play store uh, we're using google maps you can use maps.me here we go but this is where you uh, program the map app you want so if i go to navigation Google Maps should open and there we have it. So this is the own console's app, not your phone, not my phone. And if we go to the Internet Explorer, it's connected to my phone hotspot right now. If I go to YouTube, and play a video. So it really depends on your internet speed uh, on how fast this video plays. So for this particular unit, we do have to do a software update for this video to show, but I do recommend, you can see how it's different colored. We have not fixed this issue yet, so I do recommend going to the app list and going to Google Play Store to download the YouTube app, and then it will have proper sound. I mean, proper uh, image. Go back to YouTube. Now, currently there's no sound on this video, and the reason for that is you have to choose um, aux as your output AUX as the 
audio output. So if I choose on my steering wheel, it should have a place where I can choose the source. There you go. So if I choose the source and choose to um, AUX, So the first things to check when you do install your unit is check if the RPM is showing right here. And of course, if that's showing, speed should show. Also, open and close your door to see if the door status does show. You can see I opened the driver's side door, it does. And now that we're in aux input, we can check the Internet Explorer and we should have sound for our YouTube. There you go. So if you do have trouble with the sound, just make sure you're in aux input. The, thing, the best way to do it is either on your steering wheel, pressing the uh, source button, which is right here on the left, or changing the source multiple times to the correct one so that it gets to um, radio or AUX. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You can connect your iPhone and Android through Bluetooth. Uh, download any app on the app store. There's also a uh, built-in mic on the unit on the left side. You can see MIC So you can do you can either use the built-in mic or the external mic that we provide that you can plug in It's on behind the unit. There's an AUX jack a 3.5 millimeter jack to connect an external mic that you can route wherever you want But the internal mic does work. Some people don't like it. Maybe because uh, while you're driving. It's just constant uh, feedback but uh, there is an RST button there for those of you who need it uh, in terms of doing an update or doing a reset just to get something working. Another thing to mention uh, is this unit does retain OnStar. So if we press console at the top here, you can see we do have the OnStar menu and you can use your OnStar to do whatever functions that it initially had. So there you go. You also have extra settings here for other accessories that you have on the car. Also, for those of you asking, uh, so the bottom compartment piece where you do have a hidden compartment, it still does work. Uh, you still have a place for to put your stuff. So it does end right here. For the bottom compartment piece, there is a space here that you can still put your items in. So that is not covered up. And just to end this video guys, uh, we're going to turn off the car and show you what it's like. So if I press the off button, you can see the screen is still on, but when you do leave your car, open the door, close the door, the screen does turn off. And if we start the car again, it should boot up. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.